As defined, a bagel is a donut-shaped yeast roll with a dense, chewy texture and a shiny, crispy crust. Traditional bagels are boiled before they are baked. It wasn't until the 1880s that bagels developed a foothold in the United States, and even then they were relegated to New York City and specifically the Eastern European Jewish communities. In 1907, the Bagel Bakers, Local 338, established a means of ensuring traditional methods. Their secrets were heavily guarded with only sons of original members being allowed to join. The story of how bagels were created varies. There's different stories. We understand that they were created in Poland um, back in the 1600s as a gift for pregnant people, for pregnant women. One of the key factors that impacts the quality of a bagel is the ingredients that you use. There are very few people who are making commercial bagels in the traditional way anymore. It's a very expensive process. It requires the dough to be mixed, aged, proofed, hand boiled, and hand baked in rotary ovens. It takes a lot of labor and it takes a lot of time. And the modern industry has consolidated that process to save money. Where the traditional style of making bagels takes a great deal of time and money, newer means of baking bagels can substantially decrease the process. It is important to note that purists do not consider these newer practices to be a true bagel. The more modern ways of making a bagel, commercial bakeries make bagels by using auto boilers or steamers. They use rack ovens, which essentially set the bagel in place at the beginning of the process. It never gets slipped. It's baked more like a cake or a loaf of bread. The reason they do that is it saves money. It's very expensive to make a bagel the right way. The difference between a traditionally baked bagel and a more commonplace commercial baked bagel is that a, the bagels that are made uh, using more modern technology aren't really bagels. They're more like round bread. There's a popular myth that the water used has the greatest impact on the bagel itself. There's a lot of folklore about that. You need special water to make a bagel, and you need especially New York City water to make a bagel. And about 15 years ago, when my wife and I decided to get in the bagel business, we said, well, we got to figure this out because we don't live in New York City. We decided to test this out, and we used Boston water, New York City water, and, believe it or not, Hong Kong water. And we took all three waters and we made bagels. And you can tell absolutely no difference. And the reason is because the best bagels in the world are the ones that are made with the highest quality ingredients, hand boiled, hand baked in a rotary oven. Those are the keys to a bagel and the water has absolutely nothing to do with it. Today you can find bagels in many different varieties as far as flavors, toppings, and ingredients, which has really diversified the usage of bagels. There are so many different types of bagels in the, in the market today. There's the seeded bagels, and the plain bagels, and the berry bagels, and the cherry bagels, and the cranberry bagels. I guess about 20 different flavors of bagels. Because you got to offer variety, people want variety in bagels. The foods that go well with bagels is, I mean, it's limitless. I mean, it's unreal how many things you can do on it. I like meats, so I put turkey and chicken and obviously bacon and lettuce and things of that nature. Um, people put different types of tuna salads and chicken salads and egg salads on it. And then you have crazy things that people want barbecue sauce, ribs, we did ribs on it once. People ask the question all the time, if you're gonna make sandwiches out of a bagel, okay, doesn't things fall out of the middle? Absolutely they fall out of the middle. That's what makes it so great. You want to have a sandwich full of stuff. You want stuff in it and when you want to eat it, you want the stuff flying out. And that's why you have wax paper. And when you're done, you hopefully no one's looking. You look done, eat the stuff off the wax paper. And that's what makes a bagel sandwich so great. The thing that makes a bagel unique is the process in which you make it, the ingredients that you use, and the traditional baking methods.